Hi, this is Sumit here again and today I am going to explain you regarding database migration techniques. The database which is in MS Access will be migrating to SQL Server and the SQL Server 2005 database will be migrating to MS Access 2007. First of all, we will see with the migration of MS Access 2007 database to SQL Server. Here is my database. Just double click on it. The first thing here to do is go for options. Enable this content. Click on OK. You can see all the tables and everything here. Go for database tools. Move data to SQL Server. Create new database. Click on next. Here the database server name will come. Use trusted connection and here is the database name. Click on next. Select all the items. Click on next. Here the thing which will go. Click on finish. Here we can see all our database things. Has gone to SQL Server Management Studio. We just connect it and can see in the database list my database. Here are all the tables everything is here now the second thing to migrate from SQL server to MS access first thing here we need to do is we need to create ODBC connection of it let's suppose my database is COOP I'll go to control panel administrative tools ODBC Click on add, SQL server, finish, write the name, suppose any name I can write, server is my SQL server, click on next, next, change the default database, click on next, finish, test it, ok, ok, ok. Now the DSN is successfully created for our database. Just we need to go for MS Access. Make a new database here. Suppose the database name is COP again. Create. We can see the database has come here. Just you need to go for external data, more, ODBC database, click on OK, go for machine data source, COOP, OK, whatever tables are needed, you can just select it, apart from system tables, these are the user table, click on OK, close, and we can see all the three tables are here as well as the data so this was the migration technique and import export wizard in SQL Server 2000 Express edition is not yet come but it is there in the standard edition and if suppose you want to import or export to some other database type to SQL Server Management Studio, then you need to go for BCP, that is Bulk Copy Program. Thank you.